good morning, everybody. And I'm once again bright and cheery. The day is beautiful. I was out at seven o'clock this morning gardening. And in this video, you're gonna see a little bit of gardening and the beautiful sunshine. You're gonna see Moose, who's outside directing the planting. And I have 10 tips on things that you can do to make your life easier. And actually, they're my tips that I have discovered make my life so much easier. And I think that's why I'm feeling so good. You know, we talk a lot about tips to keep us looking younger and makeup tips and how to put the lipstick on and how to do eye makeup for mature ladies like us and how to dress so that we look a little younger. And by the way, I'm in my gardening overalls that my daughter Dubby gave me. And I know you've seen these before. I love these. And of course, outside, I always have my garden hat on. But some of the things that I'm going to talk about today are tips that make us feel younger. So I think I'm gonna start sharing some of these wonderful things from my kitchen. Now, these are amazing. I have never seen these before, and I'm going to show them to you now. These are the Lazy Susans, Refrigerator Lazy Susans. And I cleaned the refrigerator this morning and put them in, and I am amazed at how they work. I have one, two, three, four of them. Um, one nine inch, one 12 inch, and I think two tens. On the top, I have the big one. And look at this, you know how when you go and you try and find something that's way in the back and you have to take everything out to get to it? Well, no more. Up here, I have jams and jellies and pickles. What else do I have? My salsa. I love my artichokes. I put things up here that I use often. And way in the back, which I don't pull out too much, is a huge jar of pickled eggs that my daughter and her hubby have made for us. Over here, I just stack my broth and some egg whites and things that really don't interfere with this Lazy Susan. What a godsend this is, amazing. On the second shelf are the shorties. And here I have more jellies. Bonnie uh, does her own jellies up in Idaho. She even goes out in the woods and hunts where the bears are. She picks all the jams and jellies. What else do I have here? My sun-dried tomatoes, uh, my garlic, my basil. And in the back, which I can still reach, are the cream cheeses, the cottage cheeses, and I think a sour cream is back there too. What a difference from what my jam-packed refrigerators were. And believe it or not, this fit everything that was jam-packed in. Always have to keep water bottles over here, so these stay stationary. And here we have some of the bigger things. Of course, my true, true whip for my coffee. Um, some crumbled blue cheese. I have some guacamole here, which we'll eat up soon. And of course, I have some potato salad and macaroni salad that will also be eaten up soon. And in the back, I just have some large extra true whips. Now, Moosey eats cereal most every day, except when he wants eggs or bagels or something, and, or French toast, which I make. And so instead of having those big, high cereal boxes standing around, I don't have room for them, but I can fit these canisters in. Here I have some um, wheat checks in here, which he likes. He always likes the same cereal. Raisin bran mixed with bran, Honey Nut uh, Cheerios. And over here we have Cinnamon Wheat Checks. And I love these, you can get these jars in thrift shops or online, and they do save me space in my kitchen and I can keep them on a shelf. And it's so easy to just dish out the cereal. These are wonderful for baking and cooking. And they are little measurement pitchers, a tiny little pitcher and two what they call hock glasses or shot glasses. And they're measurements for liquid teaspoons and tablespoons on this one. And I got all these at Target because it's good for me when I cook 
with my videos. This one is a little bit bigger and it's called an anchor hocking and it has teaspoons, tablespoons, all sorts of liquid measurements on here, ounces, and very, very good for small baking pies or uh, what have you. Over here are tiny little, these are plastic, the rest are glass, but these are just little tiny dishes uh, that you can set out your measurements ahead of time. I bought four of them, and you would put your uh, small ingredients, perhaps your herbs or your salts and peppers and various things in here, your butter measurements. So these I thought are something that just makes baking a little bit easier. Once again, something I could not live without is my vegetable and fruit bin. I bought this at Hobby Lobby and it was like 75% off. I think originally it's $59 or something like that, but it's wonderful. It I wouldn't know what to do. I don't have room on the counters for all my fruits and veggies. Normally it's full. I keep pears and avocados and lots of onions, keep oranges. Those usually go in the top. This is usually filled with potatoes down here. And it's wonderful. It's about three feet, a little bit higher than that. And it'll fit in a corner and it's just great. Here's an apron that Moosey will be wearing on St. Patty's Day that I made for him when Christmas. Do you remember when your mother always kept a coffee cup or something on the stove to catch the bacon grease? Well, I love things that have names on them and I found this enamelware. It does have a strainer and you keep your bacon grease in there. You reuse it for your cooking. I made French toast last week with bacon grease and it was good. Sugar, I love this little bowl I keep on the counter. I don't keep raw sugar on the counter, but I do keep uh, my sugar substitutes. Mosey likes sugar in his tea. And this is a wonderful little thing to keep my butter in on the counter. It stays soft. And then you just, this is a wooden top. You can keep your butter knife on the top. Now this I saw demonstrated on someone's YouTube, and I'm still not sure about it. I used it once. This is also to keep butter soft on the counter. In here, you fill up about half an inch of water, and then you push down your butter in here, and this is supposed to keep it soft. It has something to do with the condensation of the water. It did keep it soft, however, so did this. So, these are little things that also help to keep my life easier in the kitchen. Now, I planted a lot of the marigolds on its own in a nice big colorful pot with the other colorful flowers. However, Moosey said that I should have planted the marigolds all in with the tomato plants because they keep the bugs away from the tomato plants. So I saved one and put it in here with this cherry tomato plant, which already has buds. So we're looking good there. The other thing I did this morning Oh, heavy with water. I did replant some of my Irish shamrocks for St. Patty's Day in this cute little herb. You fill the bird feeders and I watch the birds and sometimes see unusual ones. And you do the planting and I watch the plants grow, and that's what I do. But let me remind you, I wear the pants in the family. You tell me which ones to wear. I got pants on too. <laughs> I didn't tell you to wear those. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> well, what do you think about what I did this morning, except for the boo-boo I made with the marigolds? We can always get marigolds or a dime a dozen. All right, we'll get some more. Yeah. Did you enjoy your breakfast this morning? Oh, yeah, that was so good. It's nice to have breakfast in the sun after that cold snap we've had, huh? Yeah, I saw the, the uh, guy on the uh, weather report this morning say, it's spring. No, wait a minute, it's not. It's spring. Oh, wait a minute. It keeps changing. <laughs> keep changing. We know better than he does when we sit out here, right? <laughs> wow. Well, okay. Okay, Dora. All righty. You all come back now, you hear? <laughs> Here's the bucket of flowers that I planted this morning. 
Hopefully that will come out <laughs> with my marigolds. Oh, big boo-boo. Here's the green pepper. I had to take it in for a couple of days because it, um, the, it was so cold. And here's the salvia. Friend of your mother's who didn't know how to say salvia. She always said sal saliva. <laughs> Well, understandable. We just can't figure out what this plant is. If any of you know, let me know. I almost pulled it out. It's uh, obviously we planted a lot of bulbs. Now we forget. But these flowers just keep coming out. It's beautiful. And my lavender is gorgeous. This is the most fascinating thing that you've ever seen. And I'm going to demonstrate this. And I can't tell you how we have used this over the past couple of years for moose. For anybody who has even the slightest trouble getting in and out of a car, this handle is called a car assist handle, and it has many functions. Look at this. Every car has a hook like this on both sides, passenger and driver. It fits right in there like that. It is so sturdy, it would hold up to 300 pounds or more. Now, it has a function of being able to clip in. It has a light, a good flashlight. It has a seat belt cutter. I forget what else it does. You can also hit somebody over the head if they're trying to get into your car. Oh, this smashes the window if you have to get out of the car. And it's a fabulous tool. It's about 12 or $13 on Amazon, or you can get two, one for the passenger, one for this for about $16.98, I believe, Amazon. Now watch how it goes. This is fabulous. And you know what? Most people, even in doctor offices, car parkers are not aware of this. So you put it in. Now I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna lean on this. You know how you have, you'd have to do something like this. Lean on this, I sit. I can put all my weight on this as I still use it to turn around and get into the car. Isn't it fabulous? Get one, get two. Irish gnomes need a new paint job this year, Moose. What do you think? I would love to. I'm gonna try and cut this. Uh, is that morning, morning glory that spreads all over the neighborhood? It's crazy. Terrible. Margie told me no, not to plant them. And there were two little three inch plants about 10 years ago. Well, but there is another type of morning glory that isn't so evasive, right? Yeah, yeah, it's an annual. Yeah. And our bare root roses are doing well. A yellow one over there? Yes. And something else here. There's a red one here. Good. The other outdoor assist, when I'm in the garden, I have to walk on the bark in and around all the pots. And if I have uh, a, a bird feeder in one hand or something in one hand and I'm trying to navigate myself, it's really unsteady for someone of a certain age, even though I am pretty active. And so I use an old cane. You can pick these up at thrift shops. The one I use has one of these um, types of, it's very sturdy. It's not just a cane. This is fabulous for putting my weight on this. And I'm gonna back up and show you here. You see what it is? And I can do so many things with this as I walk around in my garden and I don't use a cane to traverse <laughs> but don't be don't be shy about using this in your own garden if it makes you be able to garden if you couldn't do something because you're afraid of falling this really will give you confidence in your garden outside as you know I love my gardening shoes I'm gonna pick it up I wear these all the time. These are made by Jolly. They're gardening shoes. They're very sturdy. I don't know what they're made of. They have those, can't get it out now, but it's an insole that is um, removable. And I have had plantar fasciitis in the past 
and it's got such a great arch that sometimes I have worn these all the time for anything, not just gardening. But they're waterproof, you can wash them off, you can get them muddy. They're about, I would say, $50, $60. You can get them on Amazon or a lot of gardening stores carry them, made by Jollies. And I have these in yellow and green and black and red, and I love them. And they go with my overalls, which are gardening overalls, comes from a catalog. I believe the catalog is called the Pyramid Catalog. My daughter gave me these about a year ago, and I just love them. My tips, basically, for the boudoir and the toilette are not inexpensive little tips, and probably they're only for you to purchase if you're in the need, if you're in the market for them and you really need something like this. And one of them is our bed and they work individually up and down and they have the motor in them that uh, can put you to sleep or ease your pain and your uh, back pain or whatever. It also has that zero gravity where your uh, head is elevated, your feet are elevated, and it really worked for Moose's back pain. This was right before he broke his hip, he had bad back pain. That's gone away <laughs> for some reason or other, but it's, it's wonderful for sleeping and you can individually sit up at night if you want to read or not, and you're not disturbing the other. It's a, an heirloom bed, and we did buy this at Sleep and Sit. Uh, I think these are all over the country. And it's, it's just wonderful if you really are having sleep problems and you need that individual bed but still want to be close to each other or they do make just um, a regular size bed. So that's something. Now that's a real expensive purchase, but if you're in the market. The other is our toilet, toilet. And this, I can't tell you, <laughs> if you are mature, and you are um, have trouble with your quads, I guess you'd say, or your when core. When you sit on a low toilet and you panic when it's time to get up, you need one of these. A couple years ago, our son-in-law, Barry, bought this for us, and we didn't have any idea what it was. All re we requested was the high toilet seat. Now, they do recommend 17 inches to 19 inches height, including the toilet seat, for those who are seniors and are having troubles perhaps uh, getting up from low places. Honestly, this is great. It also helps to have those bars right near the toilet and we do have those installed, but it makes life so much easier. And I don't know how much time they say you spend on a toilet, but I'm sure it's, it's significant. So this is worth thinking about. This is um, a toilet made by American Standard and it is a double flush Vormax flush, which means that it's self-cleaning and the water swirls around up to the top, comes out from the side, but swirls around. And honestly, I, you know how normally you would clean your toilet probably once a day with the brush and all that. This eliminates all of that, honestly, it's it's the best thing. Now you do have to prime it, I guess, when the, the plumber installs it, he probably knows about these toilets. But look them up. I know there are a variety of these types of toilets, but it's self-cleaning, double flush, and these types of toilets are called, what did I say, Vormax, V-O-R, capital M-A-X and got to be 17 to 19 inches high. So that's my funny ones. So those are my little tips that make life easier and more fun and more fashionable. I have, I have someone that just popped in to visit his mom and dad. Put your head on my shoulder here, Matt. Come Put see. your head on my shoulder. shoulder. This is my Maddie. He's just come from the hospital. Hello. What have you been doing? Showing the doctors how to use your heart equipment? Shh, no. <laughs> Those docs are pretty good. But yeah, they are. Well, why do you have to be in the operating room with them? 
Um, just to help with the staff, and the, uh, the staff they don't do a lot of these procedures, so um, most most medical devices require a little bit of training. And and you so, got it. <laughs> I'm the guy. <laughs> this guy should have been the doctor, but he's brilliant. <laughs> anyway, say hi to my friends. They love you, Matthew. Bye, everybody. Matthew Matthew does so much for us. He he's <laughs> the guy that got our garden ready so that we can plant. Well, love and, mom and dad. They're the best people in the world, and thank you for. Uh, Tuning in to them. We Thank love you, you guys. Thank you for bye. Bye. <laughs> so I'm going to close. Maddie's here for a quick little so, visit. He's on his way home from a hospital. As usual, I'm going through my Roger Tory Peterson book. Um, this, I believe, is the 14th edition, maybe more. I received a copy, I think the third or fourth division uh, edition, when I was about 10 years old for my mother. And I tell you, the plates in this of the of the pic, of the birds, they're the same ones that I memorized when I was a little kid. That's yeah. not that's not to say I know what the hell they all are, but well, there you go. Yep. <laughs> Nothing more comfortable than this, isn't it? Great. Oh, yeah. Yep. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. <laughs> Back to your chair now, huh? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's just as comfortable, quite frankly. I think. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. At least. Yep. Yeah. And you like the table? Yes, it has me organized a little better. Good. I wanted to mention my hair. I haven't combed it since I've been in from the garden. Please forgive my gardening nails. I haven't done my nails and I just can't keep those green gloves on when I'm digging in the dirt. So, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all your comments. As you know, I appreciate it so much. And those of you who haven't subscribed, I still keep asking you. I think you'll enjoy it and I'd love it. So I'll see you in a few days. I think I have some more tips in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. God bless us all and all those who are suffering at the moment.